So as you guys know, many months ago, I saw this TikTok where a guy was analyzing which letter of the alphabet would make for the best home floor plan, and I decided to do it in The Sims. And throughout the series, we've explored countless different aesthetics and floor plans in every single letter of the alphabet, and I cannot believe we are on our final episode. Today, we're going to be doing the letter Z. Also, if you guys didn't notice, I'm wearing the new Sims merch. The Sims actually sent this to me, and it's so amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to be wearing it all winter long. It's a super cute matching sweatsuit with the logo embroidered on the top and bottom. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm wearing an extra small in the top and the bottom, and I'm 5'0". Also, the hood is pretty flattering too. I feel like sometimes hoodies, the hood is like way too big and it looks kind of silly, but I feel like this looks pretty good. And my beverage today is this sparkling water. What are you drinking right now? Okay, but anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, okay, you guys know the drill. We are back on our alphabet lot for one final time to tack the letter Z. And as per usual, I will link the entire alphabet series playlist in the description down below if you want to binge the entire series up to now. You have all 26 episodes, finally. Now lately, we've been doing a lot of themes that have a ton of color, so I thought I would tone it back for this episode and do Z for Zen. Now don't get me wrong, there were a ton of great suggestions for the letter Z, Z for Zodiac, or Z for Zoo. However, I thought those suggestions would integrate better into a future series or a future video, so I'm gonna save those ones for later. And as per usual, please leave your suggestions down below on what type of video or what type of series you want me to tackle next. I've been loving all of the suggestions you left on the past two videos. I've already screenshotted a bunch of them, so please keep them coming. I can't wait for you guys to see which one I choose. But without further ado, let's get started on our Z for Zen build. Oh, did I have my hood on for that entire segment? Oops, that's better. I was wondering why my head felt so hot. Like, why am I sweating? Okay, I think this is pretty good. I mean, it seems pretty zen to me, but in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna have our open concept kitchen, dining, and living room right here. And I'm actually going to raise this section up on a platform like so. In the middle of the Z here, we're just gonna have our entryway, which will flow into our large bedroom here, which I'm also gonna put on a platform. And finally, in the bottom corner, we're gonna have our one and only bathroom. The corners of the Z, like here and here, are a little bit less narrow and feel a bit more open so I wanted to utilize that space for the living room and bedroom in particular since I didn't want those areas to feel too cramped so that's where my thought process is let me know what you guys think let's get started okay the first thing I want to do is actually just surround the letter Z with a fountain because I feel like there's nothing more Zen than having a fountain around your house okay here's the pond all done I just surrounded the entire Z and then I also went in with some windows all along the edge so you can see the pond from the inside no matter where you are. I might change up the windows later but we'll keep those for now and then I just left this little strip here to be the entryway. Now I don't want the pond to be just plain so I'm gonna go in with some decorations and maybe even tint the pond with this cherry blossom swatch as well. These lily pads from the base game and snowy escape would also be really cute so I'm gonna use a bunch of these. Maybe putting some of these sphere fountains from the spa day pack as well. I feel like these are very zen. Okay, so that's our basic zen exterior. I think we're off to a really good start. I want to work on the bedroom now. So the bedroom is kind of an odd shape, which kind of goes against like the zen principles. Like typically you would want cleaner, simpler lines, not these like acute and obtuse angles here, but we're just going to have to work with it. And I think I want to go in with this canopy bed from the City Living Pack. I'm kind of intending on using a lot of City Living items and possibly a lot of Snowy Escape items in this build. For flooring, I'm thinking just a clean, simple brown wood. This one's from the vase game. And for the walls, let's also go with something super simple. I'm thinking we can't go wrong with Spa Day because Spa Day is obviously very relaxing and zen. A warm beige tone like this isn't half bad, actually. And let's definitely use the iconic fluffy rug from the City Living Expansion Pack. There is no rug that is more relaxing than this one. For end tables, I want to use these plain ones from the Snowy Escape Pack. I like how simple they are, and I also like how the structure of these tables kind of mirror the structure of the bed frame. It feels very cohesive. And for bedside lighting, we can use these relaxing candles from Spa Day. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of sick, so I'm just trying to find the most comfortable position right now and be as comfortable as possible so just like don't mind me okay don't mind me i'm just sorting by the city living pack here and cherry picking out a few items that i think i might want to use 
The City Living Pack isn't necessarily a zen pack by any means, but I do feel like the City Living Pack came with some Asian inspired items, which will probably go with the feng shui of our build. Okay, I found this room divider from the City Living Pack. I thought it would be good to put near the front here to kind of provide some separation from the front door and the bedroom since we are keeping it kind of open concept. Okay, here's all the items I found from the City Living Pack that I wanted to include. I especially love this little bookshelf bench at the end of the bed and then this this cool plant by the entryway. I think it's really nice. And then I just placed some extra items here that I might want to save for later. But now I'm going to go in with the spa day pack and I was thinking it would be cool if we had some sort of meditation corner over here. Let's add this candle wall like so and then grab one of these meditation pillows. I just placed some bamboo, these rocks, and also this incense burner. And here is our relaxing little meditation corner, perfect for winding down at the end of the day. For curtains, I'm going to grab these thick ones from the dino pack. I feel like the person who lives here would definitely want blackout curtains so they can have the room be pitch black and have the best sleep possible. Now I guess I didn't really define what zen decor meant in the context of this video, but to me it kind of just means like a relaxing vibe, a lot of neutrals and a lot of natural materials, no items or colors that clash or nothing too out of the box, just something that is very easy to look at and eases your mind. I also think that zen decor is often very represented in Asian decor style as well, which is why I'm leaning into snow escape and city living in this build. Basically, if by the end of this video, you feel like this would be a relaxing place for you, then I did a good job. Okay, here is our dresser area. I just used the high school years dresser in black and then added a few more spa day items. And then this horse object is super cute. It's from the city living pack. Now on this blank wall over here, I want to go in with a big painting, hopefully one that is relaxing looking. Perhaps this koi fish painting from the city living pack. It adds a subtle pop of color, but it doesn't clash with anything. And there you have it. Here is our Zen bedroom all done with a meditation corner included. I probably could have added a little bit more clutter here, but I wanted to keep it more minimalistic. So it's more relaxing and calm, not too busy looking, which is exactly what Zen decor is all about. So let's move on to the bathroom. Okay, the bathroom is attached to the bedroom here. Now, I think in order to make it feel as integrated and calming as possible, I'm going to continue that same spot a wallpaper in here and possibly go with the matching floor towel as well. I think when it comes to a zen vibe, I want all of the rooms to kind of integrate really nicely with one another as opposed to each room having like a completely different personality and a shock. Like you should be able to just float through every room and not feel like your environment is changing really drastically, you know what I mean? I think the spa day bathroom appliances will really come in handy for this build because it is the epitome of relaxation, right? It's called spa day after all. Okay, I have all of my spa day items here. The sink, mirror, toilet, and bathtub are all from spa day. I also included the Discovery University stand-up shower. I don't want to just have a bathtub. I want the option of a shower. So I'm going to use the Moschino room divider trick to just box that shower in. Just going in with some more bamboo from the spa day pack. And then I'm going to place some candles and maybe some artwork as well. I just realized this, but isn't it kind of weird how the fitness stuff pack sink matches the spa day toilet much better than the actual spa day sink? Like this is the spa day sink and it doesn't really match the toilet very well, but the fitness stuff pack one kind of like works really well. Like look at how this kind of matches that really perfectly. I don't know. Did they make a mistake or something and this was supposed to be with spa day? But I'm definitely not complaining because I kind of like the fitness stuff pack one better. Now, instead of overhead light, I'm going to go in with these minimalistic sconces from the spa day pack and I'm going to just place them near the floor so it kind of illuminates the ground. And of course, we can't forget to include a robe because after a nice long bath or shower, we need to put on a cozy fluffy robe. Oh wait, I almost forgot curtains. I need to include curtains, otherwise people are gonna yell at me. <laughs> I can agree that it would probably be pretty stressful and not relaxing at all to be taking a shower or bath with full on open windows, okay? I get it, I get it. And here we go, here is the zen bathroom all done. It's super minimalistic, it's not cluttered at all. It's very neutral toned and it's very clean looking. So I feel like I could have a really nice relaxing bath or shower in this bathroom every day. Like I personally wouldn't complain. 
Okay, it's really coming along. Why don't we hop over to the living room super quickly? We'll come back to the entryway a bit later. But in this living room, we have basically the corner to work with. So I need to figure out which orientation I want to put the couch. We for sure need a fireplace if we want to even attempt to call this a relaxing zen space, right? Like if we don't have a fireplace, can we really have the audacity to call this a zen home? For the couch, I'm really drawn to this bubbly looking one from Groin Together. It just like looks really comfy in my opinion. But on a related note, I could also go for this round one from City Living. It's called Simply Simplicity. So it's clearly the definition of a simple couch. I feel like we can't really go wrong with either of them. This one is giving more cozy vibes with the pillows, whereas this one is giving more like minimalist vibe with the lack of pillows. I will admit that I like this more comfy looking one a lot better. However, the pillows might be a little bit too loud and patterned and kind of go against the zen vibe that I'm going for. And I've also never used the city living couch, I think like ever. So I might want to take this opportunity to try and incorporate it somehow. What can I say? I just love a good challenge. Okay, but it could also be cool if we went for like a double-sided fireplace moment. That way we can have a fireplace for the living room and possibly the dining room as well. Basically, instead of going for a traditional fireplace, I'm gonna grab this fireplace coffee table from the city living pack. It fits perfectly in this two tall room. Now I'm gonna go into my window section and pick a horizontal looking window. The window that I find works best is actually this base game one right here. It's the perfect height and width and just seems to do the trick. And then if you really want it to look like a fireplace, you can just use these base game shelves to act as a mantle. Sometimes adding a TV can kind of kill the vibe of the decor, which is why they actually don't add TVs when they stage a home when they're trying to sell a house. But that's where this frame TV will come in handy. This is from the recent kit. It acts as a piece of art, but also a TV at the same time. It's literally perfect. It comes in a ton of really cool swatches as well. Some of these might be a little bit too abstract for a zen vibe, but maybe this one with the simple flowers would be perfect. And here is our basic living room layout with the double-sided fireplace. So far, I just have a bunch of items from the City Living Expansion Pack. I just added this divider here to add some separation between the entrance and the living room. For coffee table, I'm leaning towards the simple one from the Snowy Escape Pack. I just want some clean lines in this room. And then for side chair, I feel like we can't go wrong with the Snowy Escape one with the fluffy throw blanket. We already used the City Living fluffy rug in the bedroom, so I'm thinking maybe the fluffy rug from the book nook kit now is it's time for it to shine and then these snowy escape shelves would go perfect on the wall right here as well i like this little rock lantern from the snowy escape pack i'm gonna place that on the floor here okay the living room's looking really good now i do just want to find a horizontal painting to go on top of the couch here if possible Come to think of it, we don't have a ton of horizontal paintings, but I'm keeping my hopes high. Okay, maybe one of these base game ones here. The base game is pulling through for us. This one is pretty subtle, I feel like. It doesn't add too much contrasting color and kind of goes along with some of the yellow tones we have. And there you have it. That's going to be our Zen living room all done with a custom double-sided fireplace. I think that this living room is cozy, simple, and calming, and I'm really excited about the double fireplace. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like in the dining room. So let's move on to that room. Okay, on to our final section. Here we'll have our open concept kitchen and small dining room so I think for the dining room we're only gonna have room for like a four-seater or maybe just a two-seater dining table something super small the small wood table from snowy escape is an obvious choice but we also have this one from city living I'm leaning towards the city living table just because it's slightly more modern and I haven't used it in a really long time and it also comes in some wood swatches and let's keep it simple with the chairs and just go in with the matching ones from city living I'm already imagining how relaxing it would be to just sit here and enjoy dinner, look at your pond, and enjoy the warmth from the fireplace. Like, that is relaxation at its finest. And again, I want the build to feel cohesive and familiar as you're walking through the house. So I'm gonna take the same light fixture that I used in the bedroom and repeat it here in the dining room. Oh, it would also be super cool if we added some speakers on the walls throughout the build. I'm just imagining like calm spa music constantly being played throughout the house. 
even in the bathroom. We have to include it in the bathroom as well. I know they kind of stick out on the wall, but I tried to pick a swatch that blended in with the tile as best as possible. So it kind of makes it look like they're integrated and like custom built with the home or something. So here is our Zen dining room, pretty much all done. It is gonna be open concept with the kitchen. So we need to make sure that we make a kitchen that is cohesive with this dining room. For countertops, I guess the obvious choice would be to go with spa day. I don't generally make kitchens with the spa day pack just because it's not a complete kitchen set, but the counters are actually really nice and very simple. The new Home Chef Hustle counters could also be a good candidate because they match perfectly with all of the other appliances that came with the stuff pack. Then we can grab a Dream Home Decorator cooktop and a Home Chef Hustle sink. Let's go super minimal with the cabinets and just do three like that. Now I'm gonna go in with very minimal kitchen clutter on the countertops. Okay, here is the very minimal clutter I've included. Just the fruit bowl, this utensil holder, a plant, and a cutting board. And with that being said, here is our open concept zen kitchen and dining room all done. It's neutral, it's simple, it's not cluttered at all. I feel like a cluttered kitchen can be a big source of stress for a lot of people, so I really wanted to make sure that this area in particular looked very bare bones and very clean. So I definitely would not complain if I had a kitchen and dining room that looked like this. What do you guys think? Okay, last but not least, we just have this entryway to work on. So I'm just gonna put a couple of our essentials like a doormat and maybe like a coat hanger. Okay, these are the doorway essentials. Now I'm just gonna go in with some bamboo to cover up some of the windows here. Now you might be thinking, why would I want to cover up the view to the nice pond here? But then I was thinking, because this is the front door and the front entryway, you don't want to walk into someone's home and then immediately be able to see outside and what's on the other side of the house, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like a weird flow of energy. Like you just stepped inside, but you can see outside, so it kind of feels like it's outside and it doesn't feel cozy. Is that making sense to anybody else or just me? Basically, you need to feel like you're walking into a safe enclosed space. In the corner here, I think it would be nice just to include a small little poof in case someone needs to sit down while they're putting on or taking off their shoes. Other than that, I want to keep this area pretty open and spacious feeling, so I think that's going to be it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is our Z for Zen build all done and our alphabet build challenge series is now complete. I'm actually shocked that we completed this challenge. I've been making Sims videos on my YouTube channel for over five years now, and I don't think I've ever completed a challenge or series on my channel before. I can honestly say that this series was so much fun. I thoroughly enjoyed exploring all these different aesthetics and styles and themes, and it's seriously all thanks to you guys. You guys quite literally came through every single week with the comments and the ideas, the suggestions, the inspiration for each episode. Like if I'm being real, I could not have come up with half of these themes on my own. So thank you guys so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this series as much as I enjoyed making it. Please never underestimate how much your like, your comment, your view means to me. I appreciate each and every single one of you and this would not have been as much fun as it was without you guys. Also, before I started this challenge, I was literally only doing speed builds on my channel. So I feel like we've come a long way in this live building journey. As per usual, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. And why don't you click the playlist down below and go watch all the other videos and make sure you gave those ones a thumbs up too. And now that the series is actually done, it's finally time to comment down below which letter of the alphabet makes for the best home floor plan. Maybe comment your top three, it might be kind of hard to pick one, although for some reason the letter H is really jumping out in my head, I remember that one being pretty good. Also comment down below which letter or episode you found this series at, like did you find it on letter T or have you been here from the beginning in letter A, I'd love to know like what letter you started at. But anyways, this era has now come to an end, it's time for me to get back to the drawing board. Next week I will say I'll have some early access for rent content coming, so it'll just be speed build and short form content, but then I'll be back either in late December or the new year with a brand new series. But that's enough talking from me. By the way, when this video goes up, I'll actually be on vacation with my family from my mom's birthday, so hopefully this video goes up just fine. But besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you!